Welcome back. I'm Shaq, and we got us another video. Boy, I got this bump under my eye. I need to find a way to fix it. Uh, there was a sister on TikTok who says she gets nervous around hood people. Think we can all guess who got mad? Black people got mad. But hold up, if you're just hitting this video, I need you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. And in the comment section, give me a thumbs up or a heart just to let me know that it's real. But let's waste no more time. Let's roll the clips. It's a plural, it's multiple clips. Oh, oh, you know what that was? Oh, that dude, right? So this woman came on Beyonce's internet and said this bullshit. I used to be afraid to admit this as a black person, but I am not afraid anymore. I get really nervous and anxious when I'm around hood people. See, this is why some of y'all don't need a phone. Some of y'all don't need access to social media. You should have to take a test. You should have to fill out an application before you, you just post it. Like, before you just allowed to post it. Because this is what I'm talking about. You got these silver spoon coons like this that don't know the difference between hood culture and criminals. Who said that? What you mean to say is that you get nervous around criminals, but your smooth brain associates criminals with being ghetto being in poverty and being in the hood news flash you can be the most hood most ghetto person ever and not be a criminal there are criminals in every business every job site every tax bracket every race every culture every where the difference is when hood ghetto black people commit crimes it's easy to tell who the criminal is because we have a mask on while we're stealing your car or your tv who's we sucker when white people commit their crimes and they steal and shit like elections and land and people they wear suits so it's a little harder to tell but just know while you're over there assuming somebody to automatically be a criminal just because they're hood or ghetto there's a group of people in every other race assuming you to be a criminal just because you black what the? Okay. Have a nice. What the? You just did nothing but assume. When did that lady say she thought hood people were criminals? She just said she gets nervous around hood people. And I'm not going to lie to you. What you just did was assume. You know what they say what happens when you assume, right, sir? When you assume your breath smells like ass. I taste shit. That's what happens when you assume. You shouldn't have did that. It kind of proved the point a little bit. Let's just say if you are hood, you couldn't comprehend very well. And that's a problem when, you, when you're talking to somebody who can't comprehend what you're saying, the situation get really uncomfortable because then they can start getting upset. Like how you demonstrated today. Well, not today, a little while ago. I just found your video, but like what you did, but you made sure you get a cover to pull over your seat because you probably got, probably got like mustard stains or ketchup stains on your, your goddamn seat because you're a child. You eat like a child. <laughs> Does that feel good? Uh, yeah. This person said that they used to be afraid to admit this, but they're not afraid to admit it anymore. They get really nervous when they are around hood people. Now I'm commenting on this because I am from down the hill. If you don't know what down the hill is, hold on. I suggest you Google it. Get familiar. I'm from Baltimore. Um, very hood. <laughs> And I want to talk about this narrative that often comes when you are somebody from the hood, right? First off, a lot of people don't even associate with me with being from the hood because I have like degrees and I'm a therapist and the job, da 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 da, you, you name it. The question is, who cares? <laughs> Some of the most peaceful, my brother and I are from the same hood, obviously. He is one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my entire lifetime. He's one of the sweetest people I know um, from the hood. Some of the sweetest people are from the hood. Some of the most peaceful people are from the hood. Some of the most creative, intelligent, thought-provoking, revolutionary people are from the hood. Um, and reducing us down to the way that y'all reduce us, the way that y'all fantasize and glamorize about the hood, it's just really a disservice to yourself, not even just us. Beyond this being anti-black, which it is, it is just like extremely hurtful uh, when you say things like this because there are people who come from the hood. We can't help where we're born, the circumstances that we're born into, but like to paint us like we are, like people who are innately violent. First off, sir, it's called generalizing. Stop personalizing. You personalize the whole thing she said. Why did you bring yourself up? How did all y'all miss her point? 
I see how you missed your point. Your niggas are disingenuous. That's y'all are, you're disingenuous. This man brought up him and his brother and then started saying nameless, small amounts of people and said that, you know, you shouldn't talk about hood people. What? Should we stop saying bears are dangerous because there's some bears that, that work in a circus and they're nice? Is that your logic? Because there's a little bit of bears who dance around and are nice bears. We shouldn't say bears are dangerous. Logical. Um, or anything like that to perpetuate those stereotypes. It's just wrong. When I was in college, I remember, one, people think I'm from everywhere except for where I'm from because they see me as an intelligent person. But I've been in rooms where, because people assumed that I wasn't from where I'm from, when Baltimore was mentioned, like, I would hear the most derogatory things from, like, y'all, our people are on drugs or, or violent and you name it. And that's just really not the overall experience. Does that stuff exist? in the hood yeah but that exists everywhere it's just only one group of people who gets demonized and dehumanized and devalued because of it oh so they don't nobody talks about trailer park people right there's no such thing as trailer park trash right you fucking want one check this out because you know I don't, you're not doing it but your last friend did because y'all know y'all like to call people coons and stuff like that <sighs> what race do you think about when you say meth heads now, I didn't say the race. I wanted you to think about it. What race did you think of? Exactly. It happens on both sides. Yes. I know there's a name for Hispanics. I just can't think of it right now. But if I was from California, oh yeah, please believe I'll probably know it. Y'all are no better than the white people for those things I'm scared about as a black person slides. Especially, uh, especially. Mm, let it out. Y'all that's talking about some, oh, I'm scared of the ghetto black people. Because if you if if you were smart, everybody who's encountered those ghetto black people know that if you mind your business, they'll mind theirs. A lot That's a goddamn lie. That's a damn lie. Everybody don't mind your business. That's the problem now. Y'all are no better than white folks doing that, and I hate how I come on here every couple months and just show your. Oh, it just it grinds my gears. Mm, you guys are just pests. You're like the cats that can smell cancer. Y'all don't go away. Like, please, just keep it to a minimum. Because what you guys do is open spaces for white people to agree with y'all and basically call you guys as porch monkeys behind the closed doors. I I can't. Please, let's let's wrap it up. All right, guy. I'm I messed up. I meant to say him and the first guy were like that. I meant I messed up. Y'all both do that thing. Why? Why is there so many dudes who like dudes? on here because dude you like dudes you know why nobody messes with you if a guy who has a problem with you put hands on you now they're gonna say this dude must like dudes it's the dumbest logic in the world it's so fucking crazy but that's their logic and women ain't gonna fight you because two reasons one you're still a dude let's not get that confused you're still a dude and the second reason this sounds bad but I I believe they look at you like like little playthings. I've been had this theory that women don't actually like dudes who like dudes. They tell you they do. They all right with being around you. But as soon as y'all get into heated situations, they immediately insult you about being a dude who like dudes. Even the straight dudes, when they get mad at them, they're dudes who like dudes. When you, you're a dude who like dude. That's, that's what happens. It's just what it is. The craziest thing about this trend of being black and being scared of ghetto black people, the craziest part about it all is you get stopped by a police officer. You get, you go into these beauty supply stores with these Asians. You are seen the same exact way. So in everybody else's eyes, you are still the ghetto black girl, the ghetto black boy. What the hell did that mean? <laughs> Big screen. First off, wet lips. Girl look like she sprayed soul glow all over her lips. Just let your soul glow. You feel it out so silky smooth. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't sing, but that's not gonna stop me from trying. The show must go on. This lady was smiling in her car and she had the nerves to say, that because they see you as this thing, you should be all right with this thing. 
So it doesn't make sense. So if I feel uncomfortable around dudes who like wigs, but the Asian man in the Chinese restaurant sees me as a dude with a wig, he's crazy, but let's just say he see me like this. That mean I should start being cool with dude like wigs? That don't even make no sense. Your logic is so flawed. Your logic is just like your makeup. It's not put together right. It's struggling. I don't know who told you, but your face and your neck are supposed to match. When they don't, you look like it the clown. Technically, I called her an evil clown. That's, that's really all I just did. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to watch more videos like this, you should go watch my shorts or hit the notification bell so you'll know another video coming out.